South Africa is a water-scarce country. This has been worsened by poor maintenance and failing infrastructure, but we seem to be slowly getting onto the right track. In January, President Sura Maposa said steps were being taken to fast-track the National Water Resources Infrastructure Agency. At the weekend, a group of Cuban engineers arrived in the country to share their expertise on water infrastructure issues. They'll be offering advice on maintenance and water management, as well as exploring sustainable use of water resources. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by the water and sanitation spokesperson, Sputnik Rata. Mr. Rata, good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday View here on ENCA. Uh, just on the Cuban water engineers, uh, the government believes it was necessary to import their skills and expertise at this stage? Uh, thank you very much, Nkomiani, and thanks for the time. Uh, I think we need to put this into perspective that this matter has actually been ongoing since our uh, 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 arrangement originally uh, in, the, in the year 2001. So it is not the first time that we are having these uh, engineers or groups of engineers coming through, but it is part of our, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 response to our relations with the, with the uh, um, government of the Republic of Cuba. So this is uh, something that has been ongoing for, for quite a bit. This is not just the next batch of our experts that are, come, that are in the country. Okay. Don't we have those skills in the country? This, this does not imply that, but what we are saying is that this will enhance our own capacity and assisting as well, especially the, municipal, the municipalities in our rural and far-flying areas, where the attraction of such uh, skills is quite a, a difficulty because of the lack of, of capacity of those municipalities themselves to attract that, particularly because of lack of revenue and income that can be able to not just attract those skills, but retain them. So in the meantime, while we are working towards uh, uh, assisting those, 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 those uh, uh, um, municipalities to come to that state, we, we cannot leave things as they are. So these uh, uh, engineers come in on two, two ways, to assist our municipalities as well as to assist our own graduate trainees with some of the, the, the mentoring and, 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 and uh, uh, information or, or skills development as it were. How much is this costing the department? For this financial year, 2021-22, it's going to cost us in the region of between 61 and 64 million. And you believe it's going to be money well spent? It, it has been money well spent, and, uh, uh, and, and, and we, we believe that it is something that continues to, do, to be so. Remember that this is not uh, just specific to our relations with Cuba. We must remember that we also have similar uh, uh, agreements with, with countries like your Germany, your, your Netherlands, as, as well as your, your Japan. We know that a couple of weeks ago, we were also, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, putting into the public space our relations with, with Japan and our, uh, our, our interactions that are, that are looking at almost a similar program. Uh, so it is not something just specific to the Republic of Cuba. Yeah, and, and you said they're going to be deployed in uh, rural municipalities that have been battled. Is that where the priority lies for now for your department in sorting out uh, issues around water and the related infrastructure? That is where maybe the most of them will be deployed, but others will also be within our own uh, offices, especially the, 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 the satellite offices in some of our provinces. And uh, how many people are we talking about here, and for how long will they be in the country? We are talking about, uh, they were supposed to be 25, but one of them has had to go back home for, for some personal issues that have arisen. So we are, we are remaining with 24. The 24th one will come, will come into the country in the next month. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rata, what are the key priorities, if there's ever such a thing? What are the priorities for them? I mean, practically, what are they going to be seized with? You've mentioned the question of mentorship of graduates in this sector. What else? What else is that they will be also look, uh, looking to assist our municipalities in terms of operations and maintenance. We know that uh, a lot of our, our municipalities are struggling with ensuring that they are... Uh, um, water and sanitation infrastructure is kept up to, up to, up, up to speed with, uh, with the demands. 
but we are also looking at how they can be able to assist us in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, optimizing the uh, access to, 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 to our water resources for the, for, 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 for the long term so that we can be able to make sure that there is access in the long term for our communities. So that is another side that they will be able to assist, as well as the scientific issues that would be coming up in some of those areas. Could we see them, for example, at the M. Fulani municipality? We know the issues there with the Val Dam, the Val River, even the Defence Force at some point got involved, for example, in assisting with the challenges that are faced there at M. Fulani municipality. Could some of those Cuban water engineers be stationed there? Yeah, I think what we need to do uh, then so that we, we, we take care of that is uh, with the team now and tomorrow, we should have the deployment list made public of where they will be, because I think that's a question of interest, so that we to see. But maybe we could also say that in the previous uh, 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 eras, where else have they been? Because they've not been just in, in, the, in the same municipalities all the time. Okay. Now I get you. I guess there's still a work to be done then for the deployment. That's uh, Mr. Sputnik Ratau, the Director of Communications at the Department of Water and Sanitation.